That's some news. I might, I might show some memes on my my camera. <laughs> just, I can just I can just hold them up though. I just want to see like really quick like how. <laughs> okay, that's okay. People can kind of see that. All right, that's good. So I need to show something. I can do it like that. Yeah. Yeah. Talking about backwards text, we we, we just fixed the um, Arabic in the game because the Arabic language actually is read backwards. So uh, a lot of uh, people were complaining that it was um, it was not displaying correctly. So for Arabic players, uh, it's it's working now. Uh, or yeah, it's, it's a it's the most difficult language to translate. Software. Should we do it? Should we kick it off? Yeah. So, uh, I mean, this is this is from last month. Uh, this was the egg contest that we held. And, yeah. So. Um, yeah. A lot of a lot of entries. Um, and I think some people were getting a bit confused with with what they needed to enter, but uh, <laughs> it seemed seemed pretty. Seems to go quite well as well. Yeah. So this is like the second major contest we did. Uh, the first one was God, I don't even know it. It was some like meme thing. The, yeah, something. the meme contest. Yeah. Uh, but this one, we were like, we're gonna choose another thing on the tree. So we chose like the egg, and um, we were like, make something related to an egg. And it was an art contest. Art contest. Yeah, yeah. Basically, anything that was related to eggs. If you wanted to draw something or get creative and weird with it we just wanted to see what people wanted to make yeah and then the winner of course uh so we're gonna pick out one our favorite one and they get like a, they get a t-shirt or like a piece of uh sell the singularity swag um but um it was interesting because like uh, a lot of people posted so we got a lot of submissions um not as many as the meme submissions but with a significant amount um but people kept posting the word egg on the Reddit, like, uh, again and again. So I was a little confused about this because on Reddit, over a thousand people actually just wrote the word egg. <laughs> and I don't know, was that, like, was that, was that a joke or was, <laughs> like, you, you, you guys thought it was a joke, but uh, I, I think people legitimately thought they were going to get entered in the contest by just writing egg. So I'm curious if that's what people thought, but I don't know. <laughs> it's yeah, you're gonna, you're, you're gonna spam. They're gonna start spamming egg in the chat now. <laughs> <laughs> yes, here we go. Here it starts. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. So I guess we'll just uh, should we look at the should we look at these contest those missions here? Should we, should we do that? I mean, we're off to a great start with with the first one for sure. I think this was one of my personal favorites. <laughs> yeah, these aren't all the contest entries. We're just doing the best ones to cut back on time. It's only the best, so yeah. <laughs> Our favorites. <laughs> and these were posted everywhere. Some were on the Discord and some were on the Reddit. Yeah, it was um, on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Discord. There were entries everywhere. Yeah, a lot of them. Okay, so. What do we got? Um, oh, okay, so it's like an egg, an egg uh, with a yellow chick in it on Earth, and then parallel universe. The egg is invert, or the the chick is like outside or something. I don't know. It's like the the chick is the shell, and you crack it open, and the egg's inside. Do you, do you think do you think the chick is is hollow in the par parallel universe? Like, is it does the egg have all all the organs in it then? <laughs> Probably, uh, I would imagine. Yeah, I wouldn't want to crack that egg open. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is probably one of my favorites, actually. I like how surreal it is, uh, and it answers that whole chicken and egg question a little bit, which a few people try to play on. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, we go. But boy, I'm here, mother. I'm here, mother. <laughs> I'm here, mother. <laughs> it is, it, it is, yeah. 
very particular set of of, of humor, <laughs> but it's good. <laughs> They're so bonded. <laughs> Exactly, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It looks like it's on like a whiteboard, yeah. <laughs> Someone's oh, just in class and they're like hard to do. Like actually make it look good. Like that's yeah. cool for whiteboard art, seriously. Oh, it's totally on a whiteboard. Yeah. <laughs> that one's good. We like that one. It's cute. Uh, this one, very beautiful. Wow. Yeah, this one's really cool. <laughs> I like the colors. Mm. I mean, did the egg did the egg actually hatch in this situation? Because it doesn't look cracked. <laughs> it looks like a cosmic egg. Yeah. <laughs> It's very pretty. Uh, and obviously, the artist is very talented. Uh, I like it. Uh, <laughs> so <it> means. <laughs> What's it say? It says um. Oh, yeah, it's it's tiny from our screen. Me at 12 a.m. playing Celta Singularity. My girlfriend asks what I'm doing. Me saying, buying this beauty. <laughs> <laughs> Where did they even get that picture? <laughs> yeah, is that in the game? Yeah, it is. They probably like zoomed in super close. That's the, that's the egg picture? Yeah. The oh, okay. <laughs> Very nice. Yes. Uh, yeah, bonus points for using actual content from the game. I really like that. All right. What movie is that? Train a Dragon or? How to Train yeah. a Dragon 3? That's the third one. Yeah. Wow. Uh, all right. So this one, I feel like, is a, is a total, totally different class. The artistry here. So the, the quality of the illustration and the Photoshop work, because it's like it's like two different styles of artwork. It's, it's like a, a collage, yeah. <laughs> formal illustration, and then there's a uh photography collage and they uh they've like stretched that ground texture to make it look just like it's kind of going off in the distance get some nice perspective and then you got uh the entropy icon which is, is nicely rendered um the eyes are uh, is it is it staring into the sun is is it like <laughs> It's it's just being born, and then there's just a meteor coming towards it. <laughs> Rowan said that guy sees some shit, yeah. <laughs> but he's just born. Uh, yeah, this one this one's great. I even uh, I even printed a picture of it because I, I liked it so much. I'm gonna hang this one up. Okay. This one was just fun because it's like uh, they did something different. It was yeah. like, it reminded me of like a class assignment. For sure. Is this uh, actual facts here? I think. Yeah, I think originally when we came up with the idea for the contest, we thought some people would go in this direction, kind of picture, and then do some facts. Um, I'm not sure how well it works. Like it's kind of it's hard to. Because you have your image and you got the facts separate, so um, it's just hard to do. I guess that's where memes work so well because you can really splice like an idea or a joke together with the image. Um, all right, hype. Want to read this? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Dinosaurs were reproduced by eggs. It was assumed that dinosaurs, being reptiles, would lay eggs since their first fossil bones were scientifically identified in the 1820s in England. The first scientifically documented fossils, dinosaur eggs, were found in 1859 in France by Jean-Jacques Pork, although they were confused by, with giant bird eggs. 
<laughs> Egg facts. <laughs> yeah. The ending, yeah. yeah. Yeah, that was good. Hmm. We did. We, well, yeah, we did a haiku, like a poetry thing. Uh, people seem to like that. Uh, the reading of the poetry is good. Hey, Ryan, we're doing the stream, so you gotta get it. Okay. Yeah, yeah, we're doing it right now. You can say hi. They can't see you. You gotta like, oh, no, you gotta like duck down. There we go. They can see you. They can, you gotta duck down. There you go. Okay. So, that's right. He's helping out with some programming stuff. He's the one that fixed that Arabic thing I was talking about. He got the up <laughs> over. Okay, next, next thing. This has nothing to do with science, but I just thought it was really well executed. It okay. was very, it was very well eg executed. You would say, yeah, no pun intended. <laughs> no pun intended. That was kind of scary. But yeah, no, I, I really like this one. I like, I, I, I wouldn't be able to draw anything like this. This is like, super detailed. Mm -hmm. Is it Humpty Dumpty though? Like, is that? I think so. Lore. We got some lore. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's good. I question if it was made for this contest, though. This um, this was a big problem with the submissions. Yeah, yeah. A lot of them we were like, "Did you just take from the internet?" Or did exactly, you? yeah. Well, there were a yeah. couple entries that just kind of double dipped, and they had like 2013 on the date on the bottom, and it was like, uh. <laughs> 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 oh yeah. Oh, like you have one class and then you like submit the same artwork for another class. <laughs> okay, so conceptually it's nice. Like the earth is a egg and then there's an egg yolk inside of it. I know you refer to it as like Pangea or something. Yeah. It was Do you nice. Think the egg is the sun. Yeah. Do you think the yolk is the sun? <laughs> yeah, that's right. It's a little, yeah, it's like, is the sun inside of the earth? Um, <laughs> is it the mag, mag, is it the core of the earth? <clears throat> oh, Arctic. Uh, Arctic. It's Arctic here. The Arctic's not here. <laughs> He's probably sleeping. So uh, this is, the Arctic made this. Arctic did all the Indian translation. Uh, it's very sweet. It's very uh, kind of like it's kind of it's like a little, uh, it's a little too. It's like, it's not, it's not, what's, not, what's the word? He's not patronizing us. Yeah, like, it is. Meta. Oh, so, very meta. Those are the icons of two of our games. So he's he's uh, yeah, it's cool. But thanks, Hardik. That one's awesome. I like the yeah. I like how the the masses. Nose is is also on the the bird's beak. <laughs> it's just <laughs> looking directly down. It's a cute. Beak. <laughs> oh, C two S is cool. Is, uh... I just love that is and cool is spelled incorrectly. It's the best. That's the swirls on his eyes are. are I didn't think you could misspell is, but apparently you can. <laughs> yeah, this one's good. I think a lot of it. I'm curious what the age of the the person making it is, because like, if they're if they're like six years old. This is like amazing. <laughs> if, you're, if you're like 17, it's like I don't know. That's no, still amazing. It's it's good. It's very amazing. <laughs> if you're 70, uh... yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Ooh. Wow. This is like in a laboratory. This is like something you see on like a '90s like cartoon. <laughs> yeah. It's like some really good Microsoft Paint talent right there. Yeah, yeah. It's really good. Yeah. It's like a dragon inside of it. It's nice. Yeah. It's really super good. detailed. They even include like included a bookshelf in the back. It's really good. It's like incubating the thing. Oh, 
Oh, you put this one in the platypus one? I just thought it was cute. <laughs> uh, this is Patty. Patty is a platypus. Platypods are mammals. This logic. <laughs> it's cute. There's an egg. egg. Yeah. So that's, that's okay. It's like a whole story with Patty the platypus. And they're venomous. Mm-hmm. They're venomous? Yeah. The male ones are venomous. Whoa. You're right. Yeah. So what's happening over here? Uh, that's great. And the uh, it looks like they're using like a brush uh, technique on that. Uh, or is it pink? Oh, so somebody was just asking who's on the screen here. So uh, on the top there is a uh, height. He's our main Discord manager. And then I'm uh, Lunch. I'm the head uh, game designer. Then we got Emily, who's doing all social media stuff. And Ryan is helping out with some programming. And Ted at the bottom uh, did a lot of programming also and uh, a lot of random things. Um, now he's doing our stream. Uh, but not, and this is this is just part of a uh, part of the people that helped out this game. All right, you got it. You're welcome. Hold up. That's cool. Surreal. Yeah. It's really cool photoshopping right there. Yeah, definitely. I mean, I can imagine out out somewhere in space. There's there's a planet that looks like this. I'd like to. I'd like to keep it. Planet that looks like that. It's like really sci-fi. Look forward to it in the expanse. Yeah. (laughs) Eggplant. Oh gosh. It makes me think of another game, Egg Egg Inc. I don't know if anybody plays that one, but um, in that game you have the prestige and you get like a different type of egg, and each egg looks a little different. So uh, they have like a DNA egg. All right, uh, cool. So, um, should we like uh, deliberate a second? I mean, we well, talked about what. Thank you to everyone yeah. who participated in the contest. It was a lot of fun seeing all the art that everyone uh, participated. Um, keep creating, guys. We love seeing what you're giving us. Yeah, and uh, like, like, yeah, like Emily uh, mentioned, um, we kind of just love seeing um, just any any fan art in general. Um, mm that you can post in the discord or, or tweet tweet to us and um especially about the the new di- dinosaur stuff if you've been having fun with that for sure um yeah speaking of dinosaurs oh well, though <laughs> should we do the should we announce the winner or uh We can announce the winner. Or do we do, we do that later? I, I was going to announce it on social media. Let's ask the chat. Oh, do you okay. guys want to know the winner now, or do you want to be surprised on social tomorrow? Give, give us some Kappa Prides if you want to see it. <laughs> <laughs> People just want the beyond. <laughs> <laughs> Don't mention yeah. that word. <laughs> then let's just announce the winner. Let's just announce the winner. Does Ted know who we chose? Ted. Oh, you're, okay, you're good. All right, so the winner, the winner is the winner of the egg cell singularity contest. The winner of a free T-shirt or coffee mug is. Uh, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations, Liam Artist. Liam Artist. Liam yeah. underscore Artist. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Yeah, uh, we really like this one. Um, as we mentioned before, it's it's quite intricate in terms of uh, both the drawing and the the Photoshop kind of elements to it. I think it's uh, I think it was a really creative way of showing. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so we'll reach out to them and uh, contact them to get them their their prize. Mm-hmm. Um, cool. And so that was this month's contest. Uh, I guess we'll just announce like the next month's theme. Yeah, well, uh, the next contest is going to be one for everyone who's enjoying the dinosaur expansion so far. It's going to be a dinosaur screenshot contest. We want to see your best dinosaur screenshots. 
Yeah, so for those who have made it to the dinosaur section, um, uh, there's a, a way to take screenshots of the, the Mosaic Valley there. And um, the contest will be the best, the number one screenshot um, that people could take, I guess. We so want like cinematic. That. Yeah. <laughs> Or emotion, we want to feel something when we see these things. Yeah, there's some funny uh, ones. That, like yeah. when we were adding the the role for the for the Discord, the new one, um, they needed to take a picture of their T Rexes, and most of their T Rexes were just eating the ground. They just had their faces directly <laughs> just in the ground. It's great to see. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, uh, yeah. Um, uh, yeah, so we'll, we'll post more information about that. Um, oh yeah, and like like you were saying, hype. So there are people that are in the Discord. There's a new Discord role. Well, it's kind of a secret. It's not a secret role, but um, there is a secret if you if you get the role. Um, yes, yeah. But to get in, you got to take a you got to take a photo with the T Rex and then show one of the mods in Discord, and you get the special role. All right, cool. Um, great. So yeah, so let's uh, let's talk a little about the news. So yeah, so we actually released something, guys. Like uh, I know the players are always like, "Hey, can you like add new stuff?" And we like don't add anything for a long time. But we uh, we did finally release something, um, and we had a big kind of uh, build up to that release. Um, we had this uh, this kind of. This, this rock appeared in the game for everyone. Um, Ted, would you mind pulling up the rock stuff? Uh, the just on the on the Reddit. You, let's take a quick look at that page just to to show uh, what everyone achieved, everyone accomplished with all their clicks. Are these the uh, entries? No, these are uh, just random stuff. <laughs> that one's good. Yeah, we'll, we'll show that one too. Some good memes. Yeah. Yeah, there's a rock statics post on Reddit. It just has all the, um, it just has the different states. So we're going to show people that were, uh, didn't get to participate in that, um, that exciting uh, thing. It's know, where the pic oh no, where are the pictures? Oh, <laughs> okay, so uh, for those who don't know, there was a rock. Oh man, you don't have the uh, images turned off or something. Oh, here it comes. All right. So, yeah, go scroll to the bottom of that, uh, Ted. Yeah, so we we dropped this rock into the game, and then uh, basically it was just a rock, and people could click on it, and it showed the entire global count of everyone in the world that was clicking. Uh, that would, like, increase, like, the amount of taps that were on this rock. And... Uh, Every day, like the taps got more and more and more, and eventually the rock started to to crack. Um, and we'll bring up a picture of that. But um, we were really like blown away with how many. Uh, we actually at a certain we started it off on Steam, and then we rolled it into to mobile. <laughs> but yeah, you can just click on those links there. So this is a picture of the rock, and um, at, at the top there would show your individual clicks, and then the global clicks. So even there, this was like the like two or three days into it, only on Steam, and we had like a hundred million clicks, um, which like blew <laughs> blew our minds. Um, we actually didn't know how people got so many clicks, uh, but then we discovered that that a lot of people were using auto clickers to uh, to increase their their clicking ability. Um, so that's the first day, Ted. Uh, maybe maybe pull up day three to show the beginning of the the cracks. Like, like we noticed on Reddit, we saw people were doing doing things like this here. So this is uh, uh, so this this person here on the mobile, they uh, they downloaded. You're not supposed to do this, but they downloaded like an clicker or something. I don't even know what that is, but they uh, it some it like let them click a lot, and they um, this person put like auto click zones all around the rock. They covered the entire rock with auto clicks, and then they just helped click it. Um, but uh, but yeah, this is this is like the third day I think. So we're at 275 million clicks, and we can see the rock starting to starting to crack a little bit. Um, so and and uh, 
Yeah, that was, so let's go to the next day. I think it by by day four, people were getting a little angry. They were like, what's going on here? Why why isn't yeah. it unlocking? It was a tough rock. <laughs> the rock had a personality though on Discord. <laughs> yeah, and then on Discord there was there was uh, the, the rock itself actually made a, uh, an appearance <laughs> on the Discord. Uh, Have you thought about it this way? You guys clicked the rock mm -hmm. and you killed it. <laughs> so you talked to the rock on Discord and then you killed it to, to open up the dinosaur realm. Have you ever thought about it that way? I'm not sure. The rock. Did some people, I don't know if they interpreted it that way. Yeah, maybe they did. No, there was <laughs> yeah, that's pretty weird. I'm going to tell you right now, that's pretty weird. <laughs> you guys click the rock to kill it, even though you just talk to it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the rock uh, got a lot, made a lot of friends, also made a lot of enemies, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> so let's check out. So this is some of the best of the rock um, from the Ask Me Anything. Ask, ask the rock. <laughs> uh. I don't know. I mean, can it even like physically speak, or is it speaking with his brain? So I guess we'll never know. <laughs> Never got the chance. <laughs> I think the funniest part was uh, there was a lot of reactions to when The Rock would answer, and they'd react to how it answered as well. So you can see the smiley, the, the sad crying faces <laughs> under that um, answer. <laughs> All right, how should we do this? One person should ask the question, the other one should The Rock. All right, Ted, you can you can ask the questions and I'll answer. <laughs> and then Rock's like, no, Rage Face, they're mine now. <laughs> <laughs> I think the Rock didn't like like the the auto clicker. <laughs> I go to yoga Tuesday nights to train. Uh, nice. <laughs> I wonder. It's called mountain, it's called mountain dude. What? Come on. Too easy. Uh, Pop tarts. Hey. The, the good time. The good kind. <laughs> Not the bad ones. <laughs> I wouldn't have guessed Pop Tarts, though. No, <laughs> not at all. <laughs> and then Rock just replies oh. with, a, with a pensive sad face. <laughs> Uh, he's my little brother. I get that a lot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, so what we're thinking, what we're going to try out, um, we're probably going to bring the rock back, but in more like a, like, event kind of based thing. So um, like if you already unlock the dinosaurs, you have access to the dinosaurs. Uh, but new players coming in, they have to, like they see the fossil for the first time and they got to click it a few times, then they get into the dinosaurs. We're thinking about, uh, the other thing is like you can only get the dinosaurs unless you've completed the singularity. So only like 10% of players right now even have access to the dinosaurs. So if you have the dinosaurs, you're like in the VIP, like you're 
like a long-term player at this point. But uh, we do want to bring the dinosaurs to the more beginning part of the game so even more people can play it. Um, so when we do that, we might turn the rock back on, but only only have like a million clicks on it. So it takes like a little bit of time to click it. And then it's going to be open for like a day and then it'll close up for a day and then open. So it's more like this thing that kind of is ongoing event. Um, but then people that have already clicked the rock and already have access to it, they'll be able to help their friends that are trying to get into the rock. Um, and that's kind of what we're thinking about doing right now. Um, but we're going to see how that goes. And if, if people hate it, then maybe we won't do that. But if people think it's kind of fun, uh, we might play with it a little bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh oh, just... oh, okay. <laughs> Cool. So yeah, here the rock almost has seven seven hundred million clicks, and I think Ted, if you just want to show like the last one when it's like, basically unlocked or yeah, it started started to glow very shortly after this. Um, Let's see this one. Oh, there we go. Yeah, sort of glow a little bit. Yeah, then this was when when people were kind of like, okay, we're getting close. Yeah. <laughs> Don't give up. <laughs> yeah. and the, the final result. Whoa! Look at that. And then yeah, so the final <laughs> So I think we got like eight eight hundred million, eight hundred and forty million clicks. So pretty pretty wild. Once once the mobile players came in, like there was like like a. We were doing like a million uh, clicks a day. Uh, yeah, it was, it was crazy. <laughs> yeah. Uh, All right. Pretty awesome. So, so yeah, that unlocked uh, pretty close before Christmas Eve, and then everyone got like into the dinosaurs. Um, so yeah, so the dinosaurs are out. Like people have been playing them. Uh, pretty didn't play them a lot, so they're. Um, I hope I hope people <laughs> enjoy the dinosaurs. Uh, we worked on them for a long time. Um, as you may have noticed, there's some new game mechanics in there. Some of it's a little bit different. Like a lot of people were like, "Why don't my dinosaurs automate?" Like I can't figure that out. Um, it, it wasn't very clear uh, what was going on. Um, so we we tried to add a tutorial for for new players, like what what's going on with the dinosaurs. Um, but yeah, I, I think it was just people were confused about like where to click in terms of like the because the dinosaur portraits is what started generating it. Um, but I, I think a lot a lot of players caught on quite quickly and um, started to even I've seen a lot of people help other newer players out with that as well, which was awesome. <laughs> Yeah, we know. And then, um, yeah, so we're right now we're continuously working on the, the dinosaur. We're improving that. We're um, actually going to be adding some new ranks and some new dinosaurs in the coming weeks. Uh, I know a lot of players in the Discord are already at rank 30. So we kind of didn't expect people to get that far. Um, so that's why that so that rank is like artificially difficult. Um, so you're not really supposed to get past that. Um, but we will have more ranks coming soon. Uh, it's, it's quite a large system, so balancing it is, is quite complicated and um, challenging, so we're, we're just working on that right now. Um, uh, that's the other reason we also kind of only show you the dinosaurs until after the singularity, because we, we, we didn't want to show it to everyone, just kind of the most dedicated players. Uh, we want to give them access to it. Uh, there was also some weird bugs in the beginning. Like I think there was a free geode bug that a lot of people found where you could get free <laughs> diamond geodes and that um, if you exploited that, you kind of were able to just max out everything in the game pretty easily. Uh, so that that's cool, but we fixed that. Uh, and then we're also adding, we're gonna add some more traits. So for people that love to click, um, you're going to be able to get more than one fossil very shortly. Um, that. Uh, and uh, we're about to add a new dinosaur, right? Yeah, yeah, we're voting on some new dinosaur. So 
like Emily's been Emily put up a poll on social. Yeah, we uh, it, it uh, everyone who's involved uh, in social was able to vote for what dinosaur they wanted uh, in the game. Everyone really insisted on Megalodon, even though it's not a dinosaur. <laughs> um, so uh, Honor, honorary dinosaur. Yes, honorary, honorary. dinosaur, ancient shark. Um, I feel like a I feel like an aquatic prehistoric creature could be pretty cool as well but oh definitely yeah i think that's what everyone was going for everyone wants to see another dinosaur in the water in the mississippi yeah. valley <laughs> yeah the megalodon the thing is he's like uh he's not really a dinosaur and he's like way younger than i think he's like 30 million years old or something and the dinosaurs are like 200 million years old so he's not he's i don't know we have we'll, we'll get him in the game at some point but we don't know where he's gonna go <laughs> Uh, one person had a question, what are the birds for in the primary simulation? Right now, they just give you more entropy power. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> the birds give you more entropy in the main simulation. Uh, they're going to do more. I think we're gonna, we are going to flesh out the bird and the reptile tree at a later point. Um, we wanted to show how the dinosaur is actually connected to uh, living organisms that you, you see today, like crocodiles and, and uh, birds. Uh, so even though the dinosaurs are kind of lost forever, we're still, they're still kind of with us in a way. Uh, yeah, so there's, so the Megalodon won the, the poll. I don't, people love sharks, so I don't, you can't really win an election if you're going against a shark. Or just, they'll destroy you. Uh, let's see, thing, what else going on? Um, yeah, so we're, we're hard at work making the dinosaurs even better. Um, we, we're also going to try to get some more Metabit um, things to buy soon. We know people have like millions of Metabits. Uh, so we're, we're thinking about stuff you can buy and ways to spend it. So uh, we, we'll, get, we'll get some stuff for you to buy with those. Uh, in other news, uh, we got featured on China's App Store. So the game actually has a pretty good player base in China, uh, mostly on iOS. But um, they are they seem to like the game enough, so they've given us a little bit of love. Um, so if you're if you're playing in China, that's awesome. We we recently improved the translation of the the font. It used to be really hard to read; it was like really thick, and we we fixed it so it's much more readable um, for people. Uh, and then we're also trying to improve the translations uh, for everything. So I mean, we're in we're in New York City here, so it's an English speaking country, but the game's in over 14 different languages. So, and uh, for the most part, we've just used Google Translate to translate all that. And some languages are better than others. Some are, are kind of terrible. Like I know Turkey's really bad or Turkish is bad. Um, so we're probably gonna get a professional translator for that. But uh, we've had a lot of people offer help volunteering translations. So we're gonna be uh, improving those over the next uh, couple months to try to make them really good. Uh, let's see, another piece, piece of news, uh, for people on the East Coast of the United States, we're PAX, PAX East in Boston, that's in two months, uh, we're going to be showing off the game, uh, so if there's any like video game fanatics that go to these conventions, uh, please come by and say hello to us, uh, we'll have more information on that, uh, we're even going to have some custom, uh, sell the singularity swag there, some sort of takeaway thing you can get. I don't know what that'll be, but <laughs> why don't you do like eggs or something? Like eggs. <laughs> Just go, giant, eggs. go to giant Just a carton of eggs. <laughs> Come to the sell the singularity booth and get your eggs. <laughs> just do eggs. Just, just <laughs> raw eggs. You, you just have a Sharpie, you sign it. We should just give away like the little plastic eggs that open up with like sharks inside. So that's too okay, creative. Kinder, kinder, kinder kinder eggs. Eggs. Too creative. Wait, just, just real eggs. <laughs> that works too. And then get banned from packs because people yeah. are throwing eggs or something. Uh, let's see. The, okay. Uh, what else? Like uh, cheaters. We know like a lot of people are cheating. Uh, we've seen you on Reddit and the Discord. We know you're cheating. Uh, the time skipping is not allowed. Um, we're gonna. We are. We we're, 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 we're watching. We're, we're gonna put an end to the time skipping soon. Um, that guy's asking about treatments for the entropy tree. Entropy tree. What's his name? Uh, 
There's no superhuman. Oh, someone. So uh, Miss Shepard's asking, there's no superhuman or human on the entropy tree. Um, the reason we haven't put those in is because we're a little unclear what the plan is for the uh, post-human section of the game. I think we're there's still a lot of stuff we want to do with that. So we um, the the story elements might change a little bit there. So we didn't put uh, achievements for that. Um, but dinosaurs are going to have a whole new set of achievements uh, coming soon in, in our, a new update. Uh, uh, but yeah, for the cheaters, yeah, so the cheating, uh, we know a lot of people are doing that. Uh, our policy on cheating has been pretty lax. Uh, we mostly just want people to have fun with the game, uh, and we don't want we don't want an anti-cheating system to get in the way of people having fun, uh, but it does sound like it is kind of lame if some people are cheating and then people that are playing legitly don't get to like like get the credit for actually playing for real yeah. so we probably will be trying to implement some sort of cheating some sort of time warp prevention system at some point uh so that is on the the schedule uh we we don't we don't want a lot of these cheating systems require you to connect to the internet and we didn't really want to do that but um we, we probably will not do that but uh that's that's another reason we haven't kind of implemented it uh, what else? What else? Uh, Reddit. I'm gonna show a few pictures from from Reddit. I don't know. We'll see. We can also do some Q and A too, if anyone has questions. So we'll just do a little. We'll just do a little Q and A, and then uh, yeah, we will kick it off. Does yeah? Does anyone have questions? Let's see. Uh, Mishap is saying it's been very difficult to get any progress on three aspects of Martian colonies. Uh, yeah, Martian colonies are uh, difficult to get. Uh, we know people want to get all the achievements. Uh, we have made that one very difficult. Uh, I think we, we can try to make it a little easier. Um, we also, when we do the expansion for the Beyond and the Solar System, um, you're gonna, it's going to be much easier to get that that achievement. Uh, there's just the, the tuning, uh, we have to kind of tune that whole system. But I I don't know, it's, it's, it's a hard one to get. It's not easy. Um, I'll just show a few few quick memes really, really quick. Um, this is one, so we, we had misspelled, um, this is gonna be backwards for you, but we misspelled trigger extinction and instead, it was a Tigger extinction for the achievement. So this is Tigger, and Tigger's like, you know, he's going extinct, so he's not not very happy about that. Uh, uh, let's see. Then, so, so some of you aficionado gamers, oh yeah, this is this is the these cheaters here. Yeah, so this guy. See, they're all going to be backwards. Oh, they're not backwards. How'd you do that, Tim? OK. So this guy is like, I don't have TBS. Oh, this guy's got 9,000 amino acids and infinity. It costs infinity money. <laughs> uh, yeah, so that, that guy, um, yeah, he's going to be in trouble soon because we're gonna. he's not going to be able to do that anymore. So uh, Maya Shepard has a question saying, how many achievements are we planning in total for a future update? I'm guessing that means the dinosaur achievements? Do we yeah, have... dinosaur achievement. I think we're like we're probably going to do like 10 uh, like size of the dinosaur universe achievements. And then what we're thinking, like two or three achievements for each dinosaur. So probably like 50 or 60. Probably like 50 or 60 uh, achievements. Uh, yeah, uh, launcher audio stream. Can you can been, you guys hear a little better now? It's just been like cutting off. Um, okay, it might have been the paper was like over. <laughs> uh, the other one, there were some good jokes. So our game, video game, the clicker aficionados that have played other clicker games, um, uh, and how could you? They figured it out. They figured out that we we did uh, we did riff on some. Some mechanics from other games. So this, these were uh, two memes talking about that. Uh, 
corporate <laughs> corporate needs you to find the differences between this picture and this picture. They're the same picture. <laughs> and then, uh, then we got a Drake, a Drake meme here. Yeah, hey, uh, people are asking when the Beyond and the Solar System update are coming. Mm-hmm. This is crap they were bending. Venture communists. Uh, so we did we did uh, look at adventure uh, greasy money, another um, idle game, a lot for this one. We wanted to change up the mechanics a little. We know we know people like the core the core gameplay of cells, uh, but we wanted to create something that was kind of fresh but um, still familiar for people. Uh, and uh, yeah, so hopefully we succeeded there. So uh, the Beyond update. Um, so that's I mean I know a lot of people are really excited about that. Um, we're excited about it too. It's going to be another major update like the dinosaurs, so it's going to be a while. Um, I, yeah, it's gonna. It's just gonna be a l- little bit of time. Uh, I, I know the people that were really excited about outer space might not have been the people excited about the dinosaurs. So there's almost two different groups. Uh, so we wanted to. The dinosaur fans were really uh, vocal about wanting dinosaurs. So we we focused on that first. But now we're gonna be switching gears and uh, we're gonna try to deliver something really great for the outer space stuff. Uh, it's also probably gonna be in two main sections. The first section will be uh, building a Dyson sphere around the solar system, and you'll have to kind of mine the local solar system, and then you'll be going out into outer space, kind of to, to the beyond. Uh, that's the general plan. Um, we're not sure what the mechanics will, will be for that yet. Um, and then we are going to have a smaller update coming soon. Um, we can't say exactly what that is. Um, uh, we can't plant any ideas in your mind right now. Or seed uh, thoughts oh. about it. Yeah. Wow, uh, really? Yeah. <laughs> How sneaky! Yeah, but, but we do have an update coming, and you can, if you're at PAX, you can see that that update. <laughs> okay, what are these? Times are okay. Um, great. Do we anything else we need to uh, address? Uh, hype. Uh, someone's um, someone's asking if we're gonna have an auto clicker detection system. Um, probably not. I'm more worried about the time skipper, time skipping. Uh, maybe we'll put that in. I, I don't know. I think time skipping is the main problem. We might add an auto clicker. Yeah, we might add an auto clicker. So it would be better <laughs> if we made our own auto clicker that was better than the one you download. That would be if we were. It just it just costs so much that yeah. like. <laughs> if we were actually like great developers, that's what we would do. But we're. <laughs> We're uh, we're busy. Uh, we do have that auto clicker in there. It, cl- it doesn't click very fast, but one day we'll one day we'll upgrade it so it, it's more powerful. The little blue blue hand thing. So so it'd, it'd be Coda says it'd be cool to see different life stages of different things in, in space and, and dwarf and other planets, and different stars. Uh, yeah, I agree. Yeah, that'd be cool. Uh, Will there be anything with humanity and robots? Uh, I think so. I mean, we're kind of like, we kind of saw it as like two different futures. There's like the AI takes over and this humanity like goes like Star Trek kind of thing. Uh, we weren't sure how to tell both of those stories at the same time. Um, so we have to think about that. Also about Darwinium, would it, would we have a percentage to say increase the geode update? Um, yeah, we're gonna. The diamond geodes are gonna be scaling soon. Uh, they are. They are scaling. Oh, okay. They're in the current game or? Oh, there. Okay. Uh, so we, yeah, we might have some. We might have some. Uh, we might do something like that. Okay. What's this question here? Dormant. Uh, if this has been addressed, I apologize. But is there any chance to? The time rewards for watching an ad on the dinosaur side. I understand the need for ads and don't mind them in general, but watching them, the same idle hero could set them for 12 hours of fun. It would be, will it be updated to four? Oh, okay. All right. So this guy's saying, like, because in the dinosaur, it only you only got like an hour of watching ads, and then the main game, you get like four hours. Um, 
I think recently we turned it up to two hours for each ad you watch, you get the boost. Um, I don't know. We got to make money, guys. <laughs> so, so, so we, uh, but yeah, I, I, one is a little stingy. So we're, uh, we'll, we'll bump it up. To, it's definitely, it's at two in the new update. So, uh, okay, we'll, 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 we'll think about it. Maybe we'll, maybe we'll put them both at like three hours or, I don't know. Do people, when people watch the ads, do they watch like, so they'll watch like three to get like 12 hours? I, or do I, they think, like I think in? people have been, have been talking about that in Discord, saying that some people do just kind of stack ads to get some, uh, yeah, so that they don't, have to, to, they don't yeah. have to worry about it later. That makes sense to me. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, maybe we'll make it four hours. Do we donate to you by watching ads? <laughs> uh, you literally do donate to us by watching it. You don't even donate to us. You're like working for us. You're like work for, <laughs> you work for your prize. You had to sit there and watch watch ad. Uh, uh, and we really appreciate it. It's a so keep watching ads. Is there a way to watch only five seconds per ad? Uh, oh yeah, we know you can skip ads. Uh, we're gonna fix that at some point, but. Uh, I saw somebody on the Reddit had like, they had like 2,000 hours of uh, the, the time skipping. The time skipping, yeah. But I don't know. I think they screwed up their internal clock. <laughs> <laughs> they sacrificed their clock for, um, I, don't, I don't even know if that's great or good. That's just. <laughs> Looking for it or good. <laughs> for just, <laughs> for uh, fake currency, <laughs> basically. Cool. Uh, great. Do we, uh, any, any final questions really quick? Um, yeah, well, I think we're about to wrap up. We're almost an hour in. Yeah. Uh, thanks everyone for joining on the stream. Uh, we'll be reposting the YouTube, uh, and, uh, keep an eye out for the next contest, the dinosaur photo contest. More info will be posted on all our social media channels. So keep an eye out for it. It's going to be fun. Yeah. All right. Thanks a lot guys. Stay cellular. <laughs> is that a new catchphrase? So that's the core catchphrase. We always, <laughs> catchphrase. We always say that. Yeah. This wasn't a new one. Bye. Bye. Thank you, everyone. Okay. Bye. All right, Ted, you can turn off the stream there. <laughs>